Good day! Welcome po sa isang namang edisyon ng EduTrend PH na kung saan tayo ay in sa edukasyong digital. Ako nga pala si Steve Bellio Malandog, isa akong mathematics teacher sa Novaliches High School. Isa rin akong illustrator ng, strate ng strategic intervention material ng SDO Quezon City. Isa rin akong item writer ng various testing programs ng DepEd Central under ng BEA or ng Bureau of Educational Assessment. Sa ngayon, tinatapos ko ang aking thesis ng Master of Arts in Education major in Mathematics Education sa University of the Philippines, Diliman. Ngayong araw, ibabahagi ko sa inyo kung paano ko tinuturo ang algebra using memes. Pero bago ang lahat, tatanungin ko muna kayo kung kayo ba isang ayon o hindi isang ayon sa mga sumusunod na statement. Number one, mathematics is a difficult subject for students. Agree or disagree? Number two, you find it difficult also to deal in mathematics. As a teacher, ha? Agree or disagree? Next, Mathematics teachers are terror teachers. Sang ayon ba kayo dito? Sunod. Mathematics subject is a failing subject. Kung kayo ay estudyante, sa tingin ninyo, failing subject ba? Or ito yung subject na maaari ninyong ikabagsak? Sunod. Mathematics subject is a boring subject for students. Agree or disagree? Kung lahat ng kasagutan ninyo sa mga tanong na to or sa statement na to ay sang-ayon or agree kayo lahat, maybe there's something na um, may problema sa ating paraan ng pagtuturo o paraan ng pagkatuto ng mga bata. Nasubukan nyo na bang tanungin kayo ng mga ganitong klaseng meme sa Facebook? Nasagutan nyo ba ang mga ganitong klaseng meme sa Facebook? Ngayon, iyan ang pag-uusapan natin ngayong araw na to. Ngunit bago ang lahat, ipapakita ko muna sa inyo ang conceptual framework ng mathematics education. Makikita natin ito sa curriculum guide ng mathematics. Kung makikita ninyo dyan, Meron diyang limang domains. Ito yung content, context, mathematical tools, values and attitudes, and skills and processes. Under ng skills and processes, isa sa subdomain nito ay ang visualizing and modeling. Para magrasp natin ang visualizing and modeling under ng skills and processes, kinakailangan na magkaroon tayo ng art integration sa pagtuturo natin ng math. According to Kier and Callaway, learning in and through the arts complements and support achievement. It promotes clear thinking, logical decision making, and considered approaches to problem solving. So, ito yung mga nagiging papel kapag nag integrate tayo ng arts sa ating lessons, especially in mathematics. Isa pa, sinabi din ni Conrad nung na sa pamamagitan ng, ng arts, maaari itong maging effective tool para sa process ng learning and growing ng mga, ng mga mag-aaral or ng isang individual. Arts provide a vehicle for learning, especially for pupils with special educational needs. Ito yung mga estudyante hindi gaano kagalingan, hindi gaan, ito yung mga estudyante hindi gaano katalinuhan o maaring ito din yung mga estudyante hindi gaano uh, nagbibigay ng interes sa kanilang pag-aaral. Kung titignan natin ang MELK or yung most essential learning competencies, ng grade 7, 
doon sa quarter 2, week 3 and 4, narito ang mga competencies. Translate English phrases to mathematical phrases and English sentences to mathematical sentences and vice versa. Illustrates and differentiates related terms in algebra. Letter A, A raised to N is a positive integer. Letter B, constants and variables. Letter C, literal coefficients and numerical coefficients. Letter D, algebraic expressions, terms, and polynomials. Letter E, number or terms, degree of the terms, and degree of term, and degree of the polynomial. Isa din yung evaluates algebraic expressions. Ayan. So, ganito ako magturo ng algebra using this kind of meme. So, I have here definition of an algebraic expression. When we say algebraic expression, an algebraic expression is any combination of one or more constant and variables along with at least one mathematical operation. Meron din tayong variable. Is, a, is any symbol representing possible values of, of a quantity? When we say constant, is any symbol representing one fixed value? Okay, ngayon. Meron dyan tatlong bote, which is equal to 30. Instead of using this bottle, I'm going to use now a letter, which is letter A. So, I have here A plus A plus A, which is equal to 30. Or, pwede ko din siya sabihin na, I have 3A, which is equal to 30. Next, I have here bottle and two burgers. So, kanina, yung bottle, nirepresent ko siya as A. Ngayon, yung burger, irerepresent ko ngayon siya as B. So, meron akong A plus B plus B, which is equal which is equal to 20. Or pwede ko din sabihin na A plus 2B is equal to 20. Next, I have burger which is represented as B and two root beers plus another two root beers. So pwede ko siyang i-represent instead of using this illustration, pwede ko siyang gamitin as um, represent as a letter. So I have here B plus 2C plus 2C. So, pwede ko din siya sabihin as B plus 4C, which is equal to 9. So, ngayon, alam natin na ang burger is represented as B, yung root beer is represented as C, and a bottle is represented as A. So, I have here now, I have here B plus C times A. So ngayon, makikita ng mga bata yung mga terminologies na dinify natin kanina. Yung algebraic expression, yung constant, at saka yung variable. So kanina, sinabi nating variable, it is a representation of a possible values of a quantity. And itong mga to ay tinatawag na algebraic expressions. So, next is, we're going to evaluate um, each, um, each variable. Okay. We, we're going to find the value of A, we're going to find the value of B, and we're going to find the value of C to find the answer for this meme. Okay. So, I have here 3A is equal to 30. So, um, isasagot natin or isosolve natin yung sa board and then we will find out that A is equal to 10. So since that we have A is equal to 10, so we have now A plus 2B which is equal to 20. So we have 10 plus 2B is equal to 20. And B is equal to 5. Next. We already know, we find the value, we already find the value of B plus 4c which is equal to 9 so that is 5 plus 4c 
is equal to 9. And then we will find out that C is equal to 1. We're going to solve it on the board ha. Isasolve natin siya sa, sa board. And then we have the final um, expression which is B plus C times A. So the value of B is 5. The value of C is 1. And the value of A is 10. Most of the students, or most, uh, karamihan sa mga sumasagot nito, ang sinasagot nila is yung letter, ah, uh, ang, sagot, ang sagot nila is yung 60. So that is B plus C, which is 5 plus 1 is 6 times A, which is 10. So 6 times 10 is 60. But 60 is not the correct answer. The correct answer here is 15. Why? Kasi sa ganitong klaseng evaluating expression, we also need to apply the, um, the order of operations. So, first is we're going, uh, or yung tinatawag nilang nating PEMDAS. So, we're going to multiply first and then saka tayo mag add Multiply first C times A, which is 1 times 10, that is 10. Then, saka tayo mag add ng B, which is 5. So, 5 plus 10, that is 15. So, kaya 15 na sagot. Ayan. So, meron pa tayong ganitong klaseng meme. Before, siguro ganito yung expectations ng student kapag binigay, nagbigay tayo ng mga algebraic expressions, which is this, and then we're going to find the value. Ito yung kinakaayawan ng mga estudyante. But, nung nas, pag nag-Facebook sila, pag ganito ang meme na ginagamit natin, ay okay lang sa kanila. But, kailangan natin siyang baguhin or palitan. Dapat ganito ang reaction ng mga estudyante. Ganyan. So, using memes, pwede hindi na. But, in dealing with the algebraic expressions, using those memes is pwedeng-pwede na. Meron pa mga ganitong klaseng memes na um, naging trending noong nitong panahon ng pandemic. Yan, yan mga yan. Ayan, may mga statement pang IQ test for genius only. Ayan. And this. Ayan. At dyan nagtatapos ang aking pag-share ngayong araw na to. Huwag kalimutan I-comment ang inyong mga katanungan at ideya tungkol sa episode ngayong araw. Huwag kakalimutang i-like at i-share ang episode natin. Sa muli, ako si Steve. Tayo ay in sa Edukasyong Digital. Salamat!